the topic that we have chosen to speak about is the story of Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. This young righteous man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to the people in Nineveh, which is a place located in the north of Iraq. He invited them to Al-Islam, but they ridiculed him. They made fun of him. They laughed at him. And eventually he decided to leave. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relates all of these stories to who? To none other than our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah azza wa jal, he addresses our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by saying to him, وَاصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكْ وَلَا تَكُنْ كَصَاحِبِ الْحُوتِ Be patient, O Muhammad, with your people. And wait for the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not be like the companion of the hoot, the whale. Who is the companion of the whale? None other than Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. He left his people and he boarded a small passenger ship, wanting to get away from his people as far as he could, because he knew after they reject the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's invited them to Al-Islam and they've refused, the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come down upon them. So he got on the ship, even though what Allah Azza wa Jal wanted from him was to remain with them, to continue calling them to Allah Azza wa Jal, not to leave. So he boarded the ship, my brothers and my sisters. However, deep into the night, the storm started raging at the ship that they were on and he started moving to and fro. So the captain had to make a decision. After they removed all of the luggage that was excess on the ship, it was still going to drown. So they decided after the captain spoke that they are going to remove one of the passengers and throw him off the deck. So they decided to cast a lot. Who's going to be removed from the ship so that we all don't die together? Let us get rid of one so at least we can save the rest of these lives. So they decided to cast a lot. Guess whose name comes out? None other than Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. The people on board, they did not want to throw him off because they were like, this man is a righteous young man, right? Why should we pick him out of all of the people? If anyone should say it's him, perhaps maybe because of his presence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save us. Second time round, they cast it a lot. Guess whose name comes out again? None other than Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. They were like, no, 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 no. We can't throw him off the deck. Third time, that's exactly what happened again. Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, this great prophet was selected. So what did he do? He threw himself off the deck. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that he was swallowed by a huge whale. Subhanallah. You can imagine now my brothers and my sisters, the darkness of the night, the darkness of the sea, and also the darkness in the stomach of that whale. Three darknesses. And he calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah tells us this in the Quran, Surah Al-Anbiya. When Yunus والسلام, left his people angry and he thought that we wouldn't deal with him. And he called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while stuck in the darkness of the stomach of the way. He called out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And la ilaha illa ant, subhanak inni kuntu min al No one has the right to be worshipped in truth except you, O Allah. Subhanak, glory be to you. Indeed, I have wronged myself. I am from amongst the wrongdoers. I shouldn't have done that. There's a number of benefits that we can take away from this particular point, my brothers and my sisters. Number one, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tests those from amongst His righteous slaves. You have Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam being thrown into this darkness. Now compare that to the difficulties and the hardships that you are going through. No matter how dark it gets, my brothers and my sisters, I don't think it'll be this dark. Three darknesses, the darkness of the night, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness in the stomach of that whale. When you think that there is no light to the end of the tunnel, then remember the likes of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, who was thrown in the well, abandoned and forsaken, by his own brothers. Remember Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, who was maybe even in a darker hole. When you think that there is no light to the end of the tunnel, remember these prophets. These prophets in the Quran, my brothers and my sisters, are there to inspire every single one of us. When we feel down, when we feel miserable, when we feel sad, 
open up the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease the pain that we are experiencing at a time. When you feel like that all of the doors have been locked in your face, remember these prophets who went through that which is far greater than that which any of us have ever maybe gone through or what we are going to go through. So he calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this, my brothers and my sisters, is the way of the righteous. When they go through difficulties, when they go through hardships, and no matter how righteous you think you have become, expect to go through difficulties and hardships and trials and tribulations. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us, the most severely tested people are none other than the Anbiya, the Prophets. They were severely tested. And then those who are like them, and then those who are like them. Also the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us, if Allah loves an individual, he tests it. It could be that Allah loves us, right? But it could also be due to our sins that we go through these hardships and difficulties. Never do you go through calamities, except that it is because of what you have carried out with your own hands. So how do I know if it's this or how do I know if it's that? We put ourselves in a win-win situation by returning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, and you will not lose out, as Allah says, Inna Allah yuhibbu tawabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin. Allah loves those who constantly go back to Him and those who are pure. So He calls out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, La ilaha illa ant, subhanak, inni kuntu min al-zalimeen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said about this dua, never does an individual utter this dua except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept his dua. Or this dhikr, La ilaha illa ant, subhanak, inni kuntu min al-zalimeen, and then you add whatever you want from Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal will what? Respond back to you. So what happened, my brothers and my sisters? فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ This fa is the ta'qib, meaning it happens straight away. Allah Azza wa Jal responded back to him. Another important point that I want to highlight, my brothers and my sisters, from this verse is, he did something called tasbih, subhanah. He glorified Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal, he tells us, in Surah As-Safat, فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطْنِهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ If he wasn't someone who used to constantly engage in Subhanallah, 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 he would have stayed in the belly of that whale all the way up until the day of resurrection. Some of the scholars of Tafsir, they say, this was something that he used to do, not only after getting stuck inside of that stomach, it is something that he used to stick to even when he was what? Inviting the people to Islam. He used to do this constantly, right? So the scholars, they took from this that when you are an obedient, devout worshiper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when things are not necessarily going too bad, Allah azza wa jal will be there for you the moment you are struck with difficulty. Some of us at this moment in time might be living a life of joy and happiness, right? There's not much bad. We might not necessarily be going through difficulties. And we are devout worshippers of Allah Azza wa Jal. We constantly engage in dhikr. The moment you go through some difficulty, Allah Azza wa Jal will relieve you of your problems almost instantly. This is what the Prophet Sallallahu said. Ta'arraf ila Allah fi al-rakha, ya'rifka fi shidda Be someone who has a relationship with Allah Azza wa Jal when things are going great. And when you go through difficulties, Allah Azza wa Jal will almost instantly respond back to your needs. And that's a very, very important lesson, my brothers and sisters.